Today I have an exciting news to share with you. It's about our experiment on inbreeding. If you have been following along, I mated a female pig with her own son to see what would happen. Well, the results are in. So here is what happened. I serviced the female on the evening of 11th April 2024 and repeated the mating early in the morning of 12th April 2024. And she followed on 2nd August 2024, which means the gestation lasted about 112 and 113 days. Before the inbreeding, our female pig would usually give birth to about 12 piglets, but we always lost two of them, ending up with 10 healthy pigs. After the inbreeding, she gave birth to 14 piglets. Unfortunately, three of them didn't make it, but we were left with 11 healthy ones. So the total number of piglets went up this time round, but we did also see a bit more of mortality, that is more deaths, comparing 2 to 3. So let's talk about what I noticed. The piglets from inbred litter were a bit smaller in size than the usual ones. This could be because inbreeding can reduce genetic diversity, which sometimes leads to smaller or weaker animals. While 11 of them were healthy, the ones that didn't survive seemed to have weaker immunity. This is a common risk with inbreeding. You are more likely to see genetic problems and overall weaker animals. But inbreeding is not all that bad. It can be used to strengthen some traits that you find desirable in your pigs. But it comes with risk. You can end up with more genetic diseases, lower fertility, and generally less healthy animals. In my case, even though we had more piglets, their health and their size weren't as good as I expected. It is always good to be very careful with inbreeding and think about the welfare of your animals if you are doing this. If you are considering it, make sure to talk to an expert or a veterinarian and get the advice on what to do next. In my case, I discussed that with a veterinarian. So inbreeding should be done with clear understanding of the potential consequences you are about to encounter. And it should also be done under a controlled environment. That is, you should know that after you have done the inbreeding, you should be able to track the results from it and not to mix inbred litter with the other ones. So this is where identification is also important for you to keep track of the resulting piglets that came out of this inbreeding. So what did we learn? While inbreeding can increase the litter size, it also brings significant risk to the health and performance of the piglet. The piglets from this inbreeding experiment will be raised and eventually slaughtered like I promised in the video, but they won't be kept as breeding stock for future reproduction. This helps us to avoid passing on any potential genetic issues. With the current piglets, if they have any defect, you might not be able to see. That is, if it's a genetic change, you might not be able to see it right now. But along the way, if you should bring them to mate and then to produce, that is where you see the potential effects. So usually inbreeding is not always recommended, except if you have a desirable trait on your farm that you really want to maintain it. Like I just did here, I just wanted to experiment to see. What will happen if a, a, a mother and a son meet? What happens? And this is what we got. The letter size increased from uh, 12 to 14. But with the 12, you usually get two of them dying. But with the 14, we got three dying. And usually, this sow we are talking about here, the gestation is always 112, 118 as usual, as usual. That means the inbreeding here didn't have any impact on the gestation. It's the same range that happened. So, what I did initially was on the 11th, uh, April 2024, I took the sow to the boy in the morning, but because she was not on heat, uh, standing heat, she refused the boy in the morning and then I separated them and took them and took her back in the evening of that same day, which the meeting was done. And then I repeated it in the morning of the 12th April 2024. Unfortunately, she followed that she gave birth on 2nd August 2024. So that's what we came out with this is what we got more piglets but they're looking small in size compared to the previous ones what to know about this uh, piglet is that uh, this sow is that because uh, the piglets are enormous like they are plenty usually she ends up stepping on some of them which even happened this time around like one of them in front of uh, the, the four limbs that's one of the front legs the mother accidentally stepped on one of the side here like this as in this place and it got on, I could see the hole. If you should open it this way, you're able to see the hole. So I decided to treat her by pouring some kind of medication inside there and spraying the surface with uh, some kind of uh, uh, antiseptics and antibiotics. The video is conducted, the experiment has been concluded, the pig did not suffer 
anything and even with this one this time when she tricked me the pregnancy was not all that obvious that she was going to follow so i didn't even track her but the only thing i got to know is that she had followed the next morning and that was it so that is the experiment from the inbreeding a son and a mother gave birth to 14 piglets but if you want to do this know about the consequences and after getting it don't try to also use those uh, resulting piglets for future expansion of your farm by breeding them you can only raise them slaughter them for meat and you should be fine with it so thank you for watching and as usual my farm is an experimental one for you to do better whatever i encounter i come here to share to ensure that you keep yourself abreast with the current knowledge and what is going on so that you do better like i always say